right, in, in this video, we're going to take a look at um, how how do you count how many bugs this lizard has eaten. Um, we're going to use a concept called a variable, and it's pretty easy to set up. I'll show you as we move forward here. Um, it's you know when you think about creating something that. Uh, counts or stores information. Variables are a really great tool to have in a programmer's um, a programmer's toolkit. So over here down at the bottom, I'm going to see you're going to see this section called variables, and it's got a few different blocks. Uh, these become available once we make variables, and so I'm going to go ahead and click on make a variable right here, and I'm going to say something like uh, bugs eaten. Okay. And we're going to make it a variable that goes across all sprites so that uh, different sprites can, can affect the way this variable is, um, is used. So we see here, once we make a variable, it becomes visible up here, unless you uncheck this. But in, in this case, we do want it to be seen, how many bugs get eaten. And the first thing we want to do is we want to say that at the very beginning of this of this program, when the green flag is clicked, set the bugs eaten to zero. That's so that whenever we stop and start the program anew, uh, the score goes back to uh, nothing. Okay, and then we're going to say when the bug gets eaten, to add a score to there. And so the only way to do that is to go to the beetle sprite, and under here where it says if touching lizard make this chomping sound and hide, we're going to also have to add a change bug count by one. All right, so let's see how this works here. Okay, he's going to get a bunch here. Oh, maybe not. There he goes. And so you'll notice that the count starts to go up every time that a bug is eaten. Uh, to the point where uh, it'll go up to, it should go up to 10. Let's see, there's four, one, two, three, four, five, six left. Yeah, so it should go up to uh, a total of 10 bugs at the end. Now, that's great. That's an easy variable. Um, but we also would maybe want this program to end once you've reached 10. Okay, so uh, we'll have to put in some sort of condition that if it if the score reaches 10, um, maybe to stop everything or something like that. So I'm going to go to lizard, and uh, we've got well, we've got a forever going on here that might work there. We also have a forever going on here. Uh, we can put it really anywhere. In fact, we could even just we can do another one if we want to just check for bug count. We could do this, and we can say forever, um, and we can bring an if statement in. And we can say if bug count equals or is greater than, maybe is greater than 9. So that means 10, right? Oops, sorry, wrong, wrong operator. There we go. So we could get our variable. And we can say if bugs eaten is greater than 9, we are going to say something. So we're going to say... I am full. And at this point, we should be able to stop everything. Let's see. Let's see if this works here. Something like that. Um, and let's just check this out. So that took a long time. But notice uh, one thing I wanted to show is that it never said, say I am full. So the solution is to make an adjustment to the stop block. Rather than stopping everything or stop all, we are stopping other scripts in the sprite, which allows us to fully execute the part that says, say I am full. As I mentioned, that took a long time to complete. And so in the next video, we'll see how we could actually track uh, exactly how long uh, it takes for the lizard to eat all 10 bugs.